What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking. Today, I'm going to look at the differences and the comparison of the Eddy Ui Ultralight Chair versus the Helinox Zero Chair. Which is the better chair? You're gonna be very surprised. Price versus price, weight versus weight, comparison of the specs. Let's take a look at it. The Eddy Ui Ultralight Chair versus the Helinox Zero Chair. Let's look at them. Now you see them all set up. The Eddie Ui chair versus the Helinox Zero chair. Obvious comparison right off the bat. The Helinox chair sits lower. The Eddie Ui sits a little bit higher. It's a little bit wider. It's a little bit taller. And more important for me, it's a little bit more comfortable. <clears throat> the Helinox Zero sits a lot lower. I think about five inches lower. So you do feel closer to the ground. Let's go inside and let's talk about all the specs, the differences between the Eddie Ui and the Helinox chair. I think you're gonna be surprised at kind of what I think in the end would be my choice between the two chairs. Let's talk about it. First of all, you gotta be thinking about the price. The Helinox Zero chair comes in at around 119, or at least that was the price I saw on Amazon uh, when I looked recently. So $119 for a chair that weighs 1.2 pounds, maybe 1.1 pound, depending on how you look at it. I guess that's with or without the bag. So it's a basically a one pound chair. Then you have the Eddie Ui chair, which comes in at around $26. So almost a hundred dollar difference between the two. And where does the weight come in at? The Eddie Ui chair is around two pounds, maybe even 1.9 pounds. So you're giving up about a pound, maybe a little less than a pound uh, to the Eddie Ui chair. Now I'd like to talk to you about why I'm choosing the Eddie Ui chair over the Helinox Zero. Again, I purchased the Helinox Zero chair. I purchased it with REI points last year. Everybody that I knew had one and I, Thought it would be great to go on camping trips and go on car camping trips and do short hikes with it uh, when I'm not doing a whole bunch of miles. In the end, that is what made my decision between the two chairs. Eddie Uwe contacted me and said, hey, will you review our chair? And I said, well, I've already got a chair. I've got the Helinox Zero. And they wanted me to take a look at it. Well, once I started comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, or whatever the expression is, I started thinking about, what do I need this chair for? And what is the basic difference? Let's talk about the specs. The Eddie Ui chair comes in at around 22.6 inches this way. It comes in at from base to the sitting position at 13.6. To me, that is a big difference because the Helinox Zero chair comes in from the base to the sitting position at 8.5 inches. When you're talking about being out in the camp and you're sitting down for camp, being off the ground to me has been a difference. Uh, originally, I had the A-Lite chair. The A-Lite chair sits very low to the ground. In fact, you can take out the front piece of the A-Lite chair and just have it as a small rocking chair, but your hiney is essentially on the ground when you have that A-Lite chair. This makes a considerable difference even between the Helinox Zero chair, from base to sitting position, about five and a half inches difference where you're up off the ground. And that's really nice, not having your knees up when you're sitting in it. It's also wider, approximately an inch wider uh, than the Helinox Zero chair. The Eddie Ui chair comes in at around 21.3 inches in the width, whereas the Helinox Zero chair comes in at 20.5 in the width. So you have a little bit more room to take off those pressure points on your hip when you sit down in the chair. That's actually, to me, a better selling point because it's a little wider and it's a little taller. It's about an inch taller. Now, where does all that give in? Well, it gives in in the weight because when you got the Helinox Zero chair, you can obviously tell when you pick it up, it's lighter. And with that lightness comes the width. You have about an inch difference in the width, an inch difference in the height to the back, but you also have a five inch difference between the foot base and the sitting position. So there's your weight. What is the other differences? Well, what about bulk? Is the bulk of the 
carrying case and what you can break it down to smaller? Actually not. It's very comparable. About 14 inches long, maybe a little bit wider in diameter when you break down into the bag, but you could actually fit the Eddie Uwe chair into a smaller bag. They simply make a bag that actually fits the product, which is nice. Now, I will say that the Helinox Zero chair fits nicely in their bag, and it is a little bit less bulky. Some other comparisons. Well, what will hold up in this chair, the Eddie Uwe chair, versus the Helinox chair? When you look at the, the specs on the chair, the Eddie Uwe chair is made of a aircraft aluminum alloy in the poles and the connections. And then these plastic pieces obviously are not the alloy, but these pieces seem to me a lot more sturdy than the Helinox Zero chair. They are the DAC aluminum pieces. And I'm sorry, I'm no scientist, so I don't know the difference, but the Helinox chair feels a lot lighter but it also doesn't feel as sturdy. I know when I sit down in the Helinox Zero chair, I'm, I'm gonna immediately start to rock a little bit. Whereas when you sit down in the Eddie Uwe chair, I feel very sturdy and very structured in the way I sit. So that can be a difference, but the Eddie Uwe chair says it will hold only about 230 pounds, whereas the Helinox Zero chair says it will hold around 265 pounds. Whatever the difference is, uh, you know, at that point in time, I think that is a very minimal difference between the two. The cloth. This is made of a uh, Oxford cloth, a 900 denier cloth. It's a little more rigid feeling than the Helinox Zero Chair, whereas this is made of a ripstock polyester. It feels a little bit more soft. It has these two open points, whereas the Eddie Uwe Chair has just a mesh in the back. And so it has these open areas uh, for ventilation. Now, if you were using those in the wintertime, you can get a different material that you can put over the chair and you can use whatever you want to, to give that um, warmth feeling of some sort of down material if you want to. Maybe use a blanket or I know the Helinox Zero chair has an accessory that goes fits over it and can give you a little bit more insulation there if you're sitting in the cold. Also, as far as the ground, <clears throat> the Eddie Uwe chair, has these additional foot pegs or that grip out a little further than the standard of the Helinox Zero chair, which is basically just what you would see on the bottom of a trekking pole, just a small little um, plastic piece. And if you've ever used these kind of chairs, you will obviously know that when you're sitting in soft ground, you're going to start to sink a little bit. So they do make for the Helinox chair a ground cloth that fits over it and you can use in sand or soft ground to keep that chair from sinking in the ground. I haven't used the Eddie Uwe chair in uh, sand, but I have used it several times now just on different little trips. I uh, think that it will actually be good on the sand with those foot pegs that are a little bit larger. However, I would suggest if you really have a problem with that, you need to get one of those ground sheets that fit into the four pegs and keep it set up correctly. In the end, what I would just say about my differences between the Eddie Uwe chair and the Helinox Zero chair is this. When it boils down to me is how far are you going to go with these chairs? If I'm going to do less than 10 miles in a day, I will probably take a camp chair just for the comfort and fun at camp and by a fire of being able to sit in a chair off the ground and cook or whatever I'm doing. If I'm going to go over 10 miles and I'm really trying to go for a longer miles during the day, I'm not going to take a chair. So the difference between a 1.9 pound chair and a 1.2 pound chair really makes no difference to me if I'm taking a chair under or around 10 miles. That being said, if I'm going to choose between these two chairs, I'm going to go with the Eddie Uwe chair. Why? Because the weight difference doesn't make that much difference to me. And the price point is absolutely the tipping decision for me. Because at $26 versus $119, I think I'm going to go with the $26. That's just my opinion. I'd like to get your comments below and you tell me what you think about the chair. Have you had the Helinox Zero chair? Have you had the Eddie Uwe chair? 
You may say, you know, I don't use chairs at all. That's absolutely ridiculous. I'm an ultralight hiker. I don't like to use chairs. That is absolutely your decision, and that's what you should stick with. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking. I hope it helps in some way with your decision about having a camp chair. Uh, there's all sorts of camp chairs out there on the market. I looked them up, found them at the price range of the Eddie Uwe and a bunch of different brands made in China and different places. The Helinox chair is, I think, made in the United States. It could be sourced out to other countries. I'm not sure, but it is a great chair. And for the weight, it is really down there so that you could use it even in ultralight hiking. But anyway, thank y'all for watching this. I hope this uh, helped you in some way with thinking about camp chairs, the Eddie Uwe chair versus the Helinox Zero chair. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on the next edition of As the Crow Flies Hiking.